Right, so Power Apps does not have a tab control. So in order to create a tab control, we're gonna bring over a blank horizontal. And typically tabs do go across uh, the top of the screen. Uh, they don't have to. Uh, if you want tabs to go along the side, then you would create it as a blank vertical, okay? So the first thing you wanna do here, so we've got a gallery. The gallery needs a data source, okay? So if you click on data source, or you click on items, notice that those things are the same thing. So you click items. Okay, so go in here and you create um, an array, okay, uh, or, or a table, however you want to call it. So a table, you can um, put in some strings here. Let's say here, first tab, second, tab and the third tab there we go now there's nothing in this gallery yet so let's add in a button so we'll look for a button here there's a button there we go and what else we need to do is um, we will set up this button to get its text from the underlying data so in order to do that we'll say this item dot value there we go and also we might want to make this uh button or <laughs> these are actually going to be tabs to take up the full width of of whatever we're working with here inside this gallery okay so for example go in and set the width instead of being the default 160 we'll say parent so parent refers to the gallery itself and we're going to look at the template width property there we go now there's a little bit of uh, spacing in there that is the template padding so you could change that to maybe two um three three looks good maybe four might be the best okay so <clears throat> Also, what I like to do is make these buttons very big, and then we will um, look at the vertical align property of this button and set that to be the top. Next thing I like to do is add in um, a rectangle here, uh, but let's not use the blue color. Let's use, let's say, a light gray. That would look nice. Let's set up. Let's go, let's go uh, look at this blue color for these buttons, uh, which is this hexadecimal value here. So for the border color, for this um, rectangle that I just brought over, I'm gonna set up the border color to be that nice blue color. Um, but we need more than just the hex value. We need, actually need to say color value Put in a pound there. Okay. And we're planning to set this up to be at least two pixels. There you go. All right, there we go. And um, those are our tabs. So this is the the source of the, the tabs that appear. The buttons reference those values. Now let's add in, let's say a text box here. We might want a um, some text input and we might want to say this tab number one input. Okay. We'll copy and paste that by hitting control C, control V. And so what we'll do is we'll have some input for each of the tabs. There's number two, three. Now what you want to do is you want to select the controls that you want to be displayed for this first tab. And we'll change the visible property. Okay. And we'll reference the gallery there. So gallery, looks like it's a gallery two. And we'll look at the dot selected, whichever tab is selected. And we'll look at the value. 
we'll check to make sure that this says first tab. Okay. So if that first tab is selected, it's going to be visible. Okay. So if I click on the second tab, it's not visible. First tab it is. Okay. <clears throat> so like select these two. I'm going to visible. We'll paste that in what we had for the visible for these, and we'll change that to second. And then we'll do the third one there. All right, we'll hit run. Let's tab two. You know, I, I did not. I put the three there. There we go. See, now it actually works. Now, <laughs> you might be wondering, well, the selected tab should have a difference in color. So that's easy to do. So what we can do here for the fill. Um, we can, uh, well, let's, let's grab that uh, blue value again. And there's that blue value. And what we'll do for the color is we'll say if this item dot is selected we will use color value we did before okay so we're going to copy that and now we'll go over to the fill and we will reverse that. There we go. So now the selected tab in white. And you can really put in your own, well, whatever colors that you want. Say if you didn't want, um, so yeah, this is white. So if you wanted that to be green, you could actually type in the, the color green there but that's how you create a tab a tab control okay thank you